For Christmas, I got an electric razor. It really has changed my life. This is my razor, but this is Chekhov's razor. Anton Chekhov, one of the greatest of all short story writers, said, I think that when one has finished writing a short story, one should delete the beginning and the end. He's talking about the exposition at the start of a story and the resolution at the end. These bits. As Arsula Le Guin puts it, there are few first drafts to which Chekhov's razor doesn't apply. Starting a story, we all tend to circle around, explain a lot of stuff, set things up that don't need to be set up. Then we find our way and get going and the story begins. Very often, just about on page three. In terms of starting your story, writing prose is very different from writing for theatre or cinema. If you go to see a film, then the chances are what you see in the first five minutes won't be that relevant to the plot that follows. That's because people arrive at the cinema late, or they're preoccupied with putting their jacket on the chair and worrying about their popcorn, or they're busy trying to work out whether they fancy that guy who's sitting two seats down to the left. If you give them key information in those opening five minutes, then they might miss it. Plus, they've paid for their tickets, so they're unlikely to walk out if it turns out that what they watch for the first five minutes actually goes nowhere. When writing prose, however, there's little chance for a preamble or for some distracting opening incident. You usually have to get the story started as soon as possible. And life before the inciting incident, the setup of the stasis, all that has to be compressed or even skipped altogether. For instance, in Joyce Carol Oates' short story, Where Is Here?, we learn what happens when a stranger shows up at a family home. The opening sentence of the story is, For years they had lived without incident in their house in a quiet residential neighbourhood when, one November evening at dusk, the doorbell rang and the father went to answer it and there on his doorstep stood a man he had never seen before. Chekhov's advice was intended to instruct us with short stories, but it can equally be applied to novels. For instance, Cormac McCarthy's The Road doesn't begin when the father met his wife or when the son was born or even with whatever environmental or military catastrophe destroyed civilization. In fact, the first line of The Road is When he woke in the woods in the dark and the cold of night he'd reach out to touch the child sleeping beside him. Thanks for watching and good luck with your writing.